Well, hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, I will give you the buyer's guide for the 2023 Giant Propel Advanced Pro Zero XS road bike. As you see, it's an absolute mouthful of uh, bike names from this uh, Giant Propel bike, but the Giant usually has a bit uh, longer bike names. Okay, when we talk about this uh, Giant Propel Advanced, uh, the retail price is 8,000 US dollars, which is definitely eye-watering price. And I also have to mention here that uh, if we want to answer the question, who is this uh, bike for? I would say this is a classical example of heavily aerodynamically optimized bike. So everything from the frame, fork, handlebar, stem, seat, post, wheel set, everything is basically designed to go as fast as possible in a straight line and to minimize the drag on this bike. So if you are interested in this type of heavily aerodynamically optimized bike, then okay, you gotta consider this newest uh, giant propel advanced uh, range. When you look at the paint scheme on this bike, uh, unfortunately, there is only one paint scheme to choose from. This is this very classical black with a hint of silver. Looks decent, no problem there. But I wish that uh, Giant has offered at least another paint scheme on this bike, because again, the retail price of this bike is 8,000 US dollars. Definitely, at the end of this video, I will give you my recommendation, should you just go ahead and buy this bike, or should you just uh, consider it. So now, we can dive into the specifications of this bike and really see what do you get for your hard-earned money. As always, uh, we can kick off with the frame and the fork on this bike. So the frame is a carbon fiber, advanced grade carbon fiber frame, and the fork is the advanced grade SL carbon fiber fork with the full uh, carbon fiber steer. This uh, carbon frame and the fork uh, both come with the internal cable routing, 12 millimeter through axles both uh, front and the back, and also press fit uh, bottom bracket and the flat mount disc brakes. Uh, Giant is offering their lifetime warranty on carbon frames and forks, so I'm expecting a high quality on this level of the advanced grade carbon fiber, so I wouldn't expect, you know, any creaking noises from the press fit bottom bracket or anything like that. So, when it comes to frame and fork, since Giant has a lot of experience in that, I have no complaints about this uh, carbon frame and the fork. And as I said, everything is heavily aerodynamically optimized on this uh, frame and the fork. Now, let's look at the handlebar and the stem on this bike. So the handlebar is the Giant Contact SLR Aero handlebar. So this is a carbon fiber handlebar from Giant, and it is paired with the Giant Contact SL Aero stem. But this stem is an aluminum stem. I have no problems that the Giant is using an aluminum stem, perfectly fine in my book. And also what's great here is that these uh, handlebar and the stem pieces are separate pieces, which is absolutely great. Uh, nothing is, you know, super proprietary here. It's very easy to replace your handlebar if you need it or any upgrades that you want to do. It's very easy to adjust the position on the bike. And I'm so glad that uh, Giant didn't go down the route of integrated one piece handlebar and the stem. So this is absolutely superb. And as I say, carbon fiber handlebar, uh, aluminum stem, perfectly fine. No complaints here from me. When you look at the seat post uh, and the saddle on this bike, so what are you getting? So the seat post is a classical giant vector composite carbon fiber seat post. And the saddle is also from Giant, uh, giant Fleet SL cell. Excellent stuff that you have a carbon fiber seat post. It's gonna soak up some of the smaller bumps. And this saddle, a Giant Fleet SL, uh, personally, uh, I think Giant makes very good saddles lately, but uh, if you don't like this saddle, it's very easy to replace, and you can always keep your you know, desired saddle that you really like. Now let's talk about the group set on this bike, because it's definitely one of the secret sources of this bike. So shifters, uh, front mech and the rear mech, everything is a SRAM Force uh, ETAP access group set. So this is a SRAM Force full wireless group set, 12 speed group set from SRAM. It's absolutely excellent uh, wireless group set, looks uh, stunning on the bike when absolutely there's no cables connecting the group set. And everybody who has used the SRAM Force ETEP always has a very good opinion, so definitely uh, there's no complaints here from me about this fully wireless group set. 
Now let's look at the braking system. So the braking system is the SRAM Force ETEP hydraulic disc brakes front and the back, and they come with the SRAM Centerline XR rotors. Excellent braking rotors, very good heat dissipation, very good stopping power. And the only thing I can complain about here is that you see uh, on the front, they are using 160 millimeter braking rotors, which is excellent. But then on the back, a Giant is using 140 millimeter braking rotors. Uh, this is a bit no-no uh, in my book, and I strongly advise you that um, when you destroy this rear rotor, buy yourself a proper 160mm braking rotor from SRAM, just because this bike is very fast bike, and you want uh, very good stopping power and heat dissipation. So there's no point of using these tiny 140mm braking rotors. The cassette on this bike is again SRAM Force cassette, a 12-speed cassette, and this is 1028 cassette. Just a little mention here that in the future, when you destroy this cassette and when you need to replace it, it's a pretty pricey item. Usually the prices can be around 180, 190 US dollars, so just uh, keep that in mind. Also, uh, the crankset here is SRAM Force crankset D1 with uh, 3548 chain rings, so you see immediately that the cassette, as I mentioned, was the 1028 cassette paired with the 3548 chain rings. So definitely this bike is geared to you know go as fast as possible in a straight line. If you are planning to climb any steep mountains with, with this bike, you will probably need to upgrade the cassette to something like you know 1032, 1034, depending what's on offer from, from SRAM, SRAM Force uh, different cassettes. I have to mention here that the chain that didn't cut corners is the SRAM Force D1 chain. Excellent stuff here. And I would advise you in the future to stick with the SRAM compatible chains, anything from SRAM line, which has a 12 speed compatibility, just because it's gonna be then compatible with all other uh, parts uh, of the group set. Now let's talk about the wheel set on this bike, because again, I think this is one of the excellent things on this bike. So you are getting, in this case, uh, Giant's own carbon fiber wheel set, and this is the SLR150 uh, carbon fiber wheel set. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to mention one more thing. Uh, when speaking about the crankset, I totally forgot to mention that with this uh, SRAM Force D1 crankset, you are also getting a giant uh, power meter. This is a one-sided power meter, but it's truly excellent that uh, Giant is, of course, including a power meter on this bike. So you can easily pair it with your onboard computer. You can, of course, uh, train with the power meter, ride with the power meter. It's an excellent addition on this uh, bike. As I was saying now, uh, considering the wheel set, so a giant SLR150 uh, carbon fiber wheel set. So this is a stunning wheel set from Giant. Um, if you would buy it on the open market, uh, just the rear wheel is approximately now on a discount, 800 US dollars. So probably for the whole uh, wheel set, it would be closer to 1,500, 1,600 US dollars. And the main uh, kind of specifications and highlights of this wheel set are that uh, it is a carbon fiber wheel set with the hookless technology. It is a tubeless ready system and Giant will prepare the wheel set already tubeless ready, which is absolutely great. The rim height is 50 millimeters with the internal rim width of 22 millimeters, and it comes with the giant zone low friction hubs, but these hubs are based on the ratchet drive system from DT Swiss. So I'm expecting it to be excellent uh, hubs with the seal cartridge bearings, of course, 12 millimeter through axles, both front and the back. And this wheel set also comes with the SAPIM CX ray spokes. Uh, it should be 24 spokes, both the front and the back. A giant is offering you a two years warranty of this carbon fiber wheel set, and the total weight is 1,518 grams. Excellent wheel set from Giant, very light uh, carbon fiber wheel set, and properly aerodynamically optimized. So definitely, there is no complaints here uh, from me. Uh, this wheel set is also wrapped in the giant own Kdex race tires, of course, a tubeless tire, 25C tire. Giant is claiming that it's basically 26.5 millimeters in diameter. It is totally fine. Uh, the only thing I would advise you here in the future, if you want a bit more air volume and a bit more smoother bike ride, then definitely you should upgrade to the 28 millimeter tires uh, in the future. As it is now, 
I totally understand they are using a 26 millimeter tire just because it's going to be a bit more uh, aerodynamic than the 28 millimeter tires. A giant uh, isn't claiming here uh, what is the total weight of this bike, but I would easily expect it in some kind of size medium to be around 8 kilograms. If you add the pedals, 8.3 kilograms, but uh, this is, I would say, a classical range of bike weights when you consider this uh, heavily aerodynamically optimized bike. So in a summary, what is my advice to you uh, about this uh, 2023 uh, Giant Propel Advanced Pro Zero XS uh, road bike? The price is definitely eye-watering at 8,000 US dollars, but considering uh, everything that you are getting on this bike, in the sense of uh, superb uh, wireless group set from SRAM SRAM Force, superb carbon fiber wheel set on this bike, and of course, uh, carbon fiber frame and the fork uh, from Giant, I would definitely say you should shortlist this bike if you are in the market for the heavily aerodynamically optimized bike. So I think this is going to be it for today. I hope you like what I'm doing. And if you do, keep on watching, keep on liking. And as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers!